Hi, I'm Eddie Harris, and welcome to another show on online. And today on the set, I'm sitting with Pamela Wise and the Afro-Cuban All-Stars. And I can tell you right now, you're in for a great show today. But first of all, I want to take an opportunity to talk to Pam and ask her about this great music. This this music is is, is the music that uh, come from the Caribbean, is it? Uh, could you tell us a little bit about this? Well, it's Af actually dealing uh, with the Afro-Cuban tradition, dealing with a lot of um, the African slaves that were brought to Cuba, uh, actually back in the early uh, 1700s. And um, we decided that, you know, there was a lot of this, these rhythms going along and a lot of the dance and hip-hop music, and it's made a big contribution to uh, jazz as well. So we wanted to really fuse together a good uh, Detroit bass sound because you hear a lot of it coming from New York and uh, we wanted to put Detroit on the map for that as well. Mm -hmm. How long have you been playing keyboards? Um, well I started uh, actually taking lessons when I was nine mm -hmm. so I'm not gonna tell you how long that's been. Actually. Okay <laughs> and uh, you also compose and you write. A matter of fact you wrote um, Cubano Soul is it? Yes yes. Yeah. How did you come, come into that? Well actually Cubano Soul came to mind. I was awarded a grant from uh, the Art Surf of Michigan a couple of years ago to uh, write 10 composition fusing the styles of, uh, of jazz and, um, and Afro-Cuban. And actually I was a big fan of Curtis Mayfield and he had a great percussionist that, that played with him uh, by the name of Henry Gibson and I was uh, very turned on about uh, by the Roomba styles that he was playing inside of Curtis Mayfield's music, which I thought really added a lot to that. Okay. And um, so that's kind of something for Curtis Mayfield and uh, Henry Gibson. That's how I got that idea. 